Boxing fans, welcome back to another installment of Tell Us About That. I'm your host, On Fire. So yesterday, I stood up past my bedtime to watch Shakur Stevenson fight for a vacant title against Edwin De Los Santos. Now first, I gotta say, a lot of fans, media, and content creators are a fickle bunch. One day they love you, the next day they hate you. One day you're great, the next day, not so great. In boxing, it seems you're only as good as your last performance. Last night, Shakur Stevenson did not stand up to that performance. But was it something that was put on him for expectation? The fight itself was not entertaining. It was like a chess match. Two counter punches waiting for the other so that they can counter punch. It's not much to say about the fight. It was a technical fight for from a distance by Shakur Stevenson, but also fought from a distance by De Los Santos. There was a difference though. Whenever De Los Santos attacked, mostly with the double jabs and the triple jabs, Shakur Stevenson stepped out of the realm of that circle. When Shakur Stevenson jabbed and stepped forward, De Los Santos stood in the pocket while trying to deflect the punches that were coming in. De Los Santos wasn't giving up much going backwards to Shakur Stevenson. And so the fight, just like one we saw weeks ago, did not turn out as many anticipated. Stevenson, who promised to beat up the little man, did not keep his word. And he was satisfied with coasting to a safety first decision. Edwin De Los Santos was trying to make the fight by coming in with hard punches while moving forward. Shakur Stevenson did a great job of managing the distance and staying outside of De Los Santos punches. It was a technical fight from beginning to end with not much action. The fans in attendance weren't happy, which was evident by their booing. And I'm sure that many people watching from home turned off or fell asleep. Let's talk about what Shakur Stevenson did. Shakur Stevenson utilized every space of that ring and his jab and right hand to keep De Los Santos at bay and keep his distance. De Los Santos, on the other hand, wanted to make the fight by stepping in behind his jab and throwing the occasional left hand, which did not catch its mark for the most part. Shakur was happy coasting to the win. He said the booze didn't bother him and that if you didn't want to watch, you shouldn't watch. This, after I stood up past 1 o'clock a.m. watching. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you return again. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to like this video. I would appreciate that. Until next time, thank you.